All right, I'm out on the bike this morning. I figured I'd start out the day talking to you guys out here on the road. Uh, prayed up, got my word in for the day, so I'm ready to go. I'm headed to meet uh, Bob uh, this morning for breakfast, so I'm excited about that. And uh, going to the Waffle House, going to get some grits and uh, eggs and toast. I know you northerners don't like the grits, but we southerners sure do. Uh, so, I'm headed there. All right, so I'm here with Bob. This is Bob Campbell. He's the guy who I met riding the other day, uh, and he uh, went on a 2,500-mile bike ride for his 65th birthday. You want to tell him about it for a second, Bob? Yeah. Um, shortly after I retired, I just thought that uh, one of the things I wanted to do was take a long bike trip. We've done a lot of uh, week-long kind of rides, but uh, decided to go back to where I was born and uh, stay with family for a little bit and come back, and it just was a terrific adventure. That's cool. All right, so again, this is Bob Campbell, and uh, Bob has a uh, website that you can visit online if you want to, if you came to this video, uh, to this channel, and you're uh, interested in cycling, then uh, feel free to visit his website. What's the website, Bob? Yeah, it's actually not my website. It's uh, crazyguyonabike.com, all one word, no spaces. Um, I, it's a, a place where long-term, long-distance cyclists can uh, put their journal in pictures and that kind of thing. and. Um, not only my ride, but thousands of other people have chronicled their rides on there, so there's a wealth of information and different people's experiences and that kind of thing. My particular ride is crazyguyonabike.com slash Niagara Falls 2017. Uh, no spaces. Awesome. But it's a great place. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, thank you. God bless. Yeah, thank you. All right, so this is Wild Bill from Iowa. He uh, was stopped here at the Florida uh, state sign when I got here, and uh, we started talking for a minute, and he actually has known many people who've been addicted. He's actually lost a few friends from addiction. Yeah, I, I've had friends who've been addicted, and they didn't need any help, and tried to help them, and they, they didn't want to go anywhere, and the only thing you could say to them is, I'll be there if you need help. And uh, they sometimes they find the Lord, and sometimes they, finished out their life in the gutter. I hear you. Well, we're trying to just make it known that recovery options are available. So if you come to this channel, uh, me and Wild Bill are telling you, just find help. It's not, you know, it's, it's not the end. Uh, nobody's judging you for it. Talk to somebody today. God bless. Put it, put it in God's hands. That's right. Put it in God's hands. Amen. Okay. Thanks, Wild Bill. Yeah. All right, and so Wild Bill tells me that uh, at the floor of Bama that you just saw a video of, that there's uh, church services that are held each week. But they've got a big one on what, April 12th, Easter? Yep, on Easter. Um, it's the biggest tent that they can get made in the United States. Uh, it's gonna be out on the beach behind the floor of Bama, and they're gonna have three services. Uh, you'll have to probably Google the floor of Bama, it'll be on their schedule. And they say uh, the tent is packed. And the non-denominational service they have every Sunday is, is almost like, it's unbelievable. You walk in and you walk out almost, what did, what hap what did I see here? They Amazing. play a lot of music, a good sermon. It's all about God and life and reality. That's good. So thanks, Wild Bill. Bye. All right.
right, so I'm coming down through Florida and I met another bill. In five miles, I met two bills. This guy is actually going from San Diego, from San Diego to Tampa on his bike. You want to talk about it for a second, Bill? Yeah, well, that's the first leg of the trip. I'm actually on a two year long world tour. And when I get to Tampa, I fly to Portugal and start going east from there. And a couple of years from now, I hope to come all the way around and come right back to San Diego when I started. Around the world on a bicycle. How cool is that? The people you meet out here on the trails. Man, good luck to you, Bill. You. Uh, I hope that you, uh, you have safe travels and uh, you'll be in my prayers. Thank you. Good meeting you, bud. Yep. Alright, so I'm going back over the intercoastal waterway that separates the island that Gulf Shores is on in Perdido uh, Key, Florida. Man, it is beautiful out here today. Just absolutely beautiful. Couldn't ask for a better temperature for the ride. Not even sweating climbing up these bridges. I'm just really enjoying this. So I just stopped at uh, the Exxon to get some uh, water and use the restroom. Uh, my wife called me while I was there and showed me a video that my daughter today learned how to ride her bicycle without training wheels. So that's awesome. And when I stopped to get water, I met an awesome lady named Courtney, uh, Crazy Courtney from Exxon, who gave me the, the best pink water on the planet. I guess it has a little high C mixed into it. Uh, so. <laughs> We had a good talk, but when I came out of the restroom, they were talking about addiction. And in this general area, there's a lot of addiction and a lot of things like that. So she's going to like the channel, share it, uh, subscribe to the channel, and share it with the people in her neighborhood so that they might be able to know that there's re recovery options available uh, out there. So as you can see, I'm at Joe Patty's Seafood, uh, which is in Pensacola, Florida, off Main Street. And uh, I stopped in to kind of check the place out uh, this morning with uh, Bob. He actually gave me a very generous donation. So I'm able to eat more than a tortilla with refried beans and easy cheese on it today. So I stopped in to get some sushi. And it's very, very inexpensive here surprised at how inexpensive the sushi was which is good for me working on donations only so um, yeah super excited uh, thank you so much Bob uh, you know the word says I've never seen a righteous forsaken or a seed begging bread we talked about that this morning and God has continued to provide I'm so thankful for a much more nutritious meal today than normal anyway see you guys in the day
All right, so at this point, uh, after the Palafox Pier, it started storming. I couldn't take any more video. I couldn't do anything. So I rode over um, the bridge that goes to Gulf Breeze from Pensacola and came on through Gulf Breeze and uh, got to camp and uh, set up real quick in the pouring down rain, dried off inside the tent, and uh, I'm just amazed at how cool this has been. It's been quite a journey, quite an interesting trip. I'm just reflecting on the people that I met today. Um, you know, breakfast with Bob and then uh, meeting the two Bills and, uh, you know, the one, the, the Bill that's riding around the world is 70 years old. Uh, that's amazing. Met another guy at uh, Joe Patty's Seafood named Jay. Um, there was actually no seats left there, and uh, I offered just a random guy a seat at my table, and he asked, he said, are you the guy on the bicycle? I said, I am, and he said, I'm on a bike too. I'm going from San Diego until I get tired. I said, well, where do you think you're going to get tired at? He said, I'm tired. <laughs> so uh, we talked, we ate lunch together, and then uh, he bought us beignets, from the little beignet stand that you saw in the video um, for a dessert, so I thought that was neat. Um, and it's just been a really good day. I'm excited for this one to be over. I kind of like riding in the rain. It's been a lot less uh, stressful as far as heat and sweat and you know getting tired. It was nice to have the rain. But when you start getting cold on a bicycle in the rain, you get cold. So I'm kind of glad it's over and I'm in the tent. So I hope that you like this video, that you share this video on Facebook with your friends. Tell them about what Redeeming Eden is doing, what we're all about. And um, subscribe on YouTube. When you open the video in YouTube, right there at the bottom of the screen, uh, click on the subscribe button. It's going to help me out in the long run with this ride, and I'm thankful for it. I love you guys, and I'll see you later.